Welcome to this Internet Geography Revision short covering coastal processes. Coastal erosion is the wearing away of lands by the sea. There are three main processes of coastal erosion. Hydraulic action involves waves hitting the base of a cliff, causing air to be compressed in cracks, joints and folds in bedding planes, causing repeated changes in air pressure. As air rushes out of the cliff when the wave retreats, it leads to an explosive effect as pressure is released. This process is further supported by the weakening effect of weathering. The material breaks off cliffs, sometimes in large chunks. Abrasion occurs as breaking waves concentrated between the high and low watermarks, which contain sand and larger fragments, wear away the base of a cliff or headland. Attrition is when waves cause rocks and pebbles to bump into each other and break up. Coastal transportation is the movement of material in the sea and along the coast by waves. There are four main processes of coastal transportation. Traction involves large pebbles and boulders being rolled along the seabed. High energy destructive waves are most likely to transport material by traction. Saltation is when small stones, pebbles and silt are being bounced along the seabed. Both destructive and constructive waves can move this smaller material by saltation. Suspension is when fine particles of clay and sediment are suspended in the sea and transported by both destructive and constructive waves. When material is dissolved and carried by the sea, it is transported in solution. Longshore or littoral drift is the movement of material along the shore by wave action. It happens when waves approach the beach at an angle. The swash, waves moving up the beach, carries material up and along the beach. The backwash, waves moving back down the beach, carries material back down the beach at right angles. This is the result of gravity. Coastal deposition involves material being transported by the sea being dropped when waves lose energy. This can occur in shallow water, in sheltered areas such as bays, where a river flows into the sea, reducing wave energy and when there is little wind, also reducing wave energy. Weathering is the breakdown of rocks in situ. Mechanical weathering is the breakdown of rock without changing its chemical composition. This means the rock breaks up without its chemical makeup changing. Freeze-thaw weathering is the main type of mechanical weathering that affects coasts. Freeze-thaw weathering occurs when rocks are porous, contain holes, or permeable, allow water to pass through. Water enters the rock and freezes. The ice expands by around 9%. This causes pressure on the rock until it cracks. Repeated freeze-thaw can cause the rock to break up. Another type of mechanical weathering is salt weathering. Salt weathering occurs when salt spray from the sea gets into a crack in a rock. It may evaporate and crystallize, putting pressure on the surrounding rock and weakening the structure. Chemical weathering is the breakdown of rock through changing its chemical composition. Carbonation is a type of chemical weathering that occurs when slightly acidic water dissolves sedimentary rock, such as limestone. Hydrolysis is when acidic rainwater breaks down the rock, causing it to rot. Oxidation is when rocks are broken down by oxygen and water. Mass movement is the downhill movement of cliff material under the influence of gravity. Slumping is when saturated cliffs slump along a curved surface. Sliding is when blocks of rock slide downhill along a slide plane on the cliff. 
A rock fall involves fragments of rock breaking away from the cliff face, often due to freeze-thaw weathering. You can find out more about coastal processes on internetgeography.net. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates.